What time is it? <laughs> At least I got you. You always treat me right. Skillshare, Skillshare is my link in the description. I know, I know. You guys are gonna be like, but you already made a video about being Hispanic. I'm running out of ideas, guys. I'm being unoriginal. I. I don't give a shit. I don't care. You can consider this a being Hispanic part two or whatever, but this video is different. I'm just gonna share some random stories that I thought was gonna be good for a video. Cool. So sit back, relax, and if you haven't been subscribed, then if I beat you in rock, paper, scissors, you gotta subscribe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! You just potentially lost or you beat me. Either way, please subscribe. So yeah, every Sunday, a bitch wakes up around 5 to 6 a.m. in the morning to start her day to deep clean the house until 8 to 9 p.m. This is just a routine my mom set ever since I was little. Do I enjoy it? Of course not. It's hell cleaning for 10 plus hours. But do I complain? Hell no. Do I want to get an ass whooping for 10 hours? Mm-mm. I'll stick to deep cleaning. Thank you very much. Though my favorite part of every Sunday was when I get to go out and buy two packs of tortillas and avocado. Funny. Anyway, it was my favorite part because I get leftover change and with that I run up to my favorite man in the world the coco mango cherry Man Hola, mi niña. ¿Qué es lo que quiere? ¿Me puedes dar de mango, por favor? Claro que sí, no problem. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Coco Mango Cherry Man, this dude is the living embodiment of New York City's happiness. This man was and still is the highlight of my summer. A dollar of greatness, I tell you. I don't care that they raised it to a dollar fifty. Go get your coin, man. You deserve it more than anything. This guy, though, he bugging for raising it for two dollars. You kidding me? I mean, get your coin too, but I ain't buying an ice shaving for two bucks. You're crazy! You're crazy! Shout out to these three vendors, though. They be popping off. Let's not forget about the man that lost me in Macy's. My uncle. I love my uncle. He's like my dad. But sometimes he be crazy crazy. Like there was this one time where I don't even remember how young I was. But I would be playing this game just calling him animal names. And we would go back and forth. So I would be like, Haha, eres un sapo. Or, Jiji, eres un caballo porque tienes dientes de caballo. And then I called him, Haha, eres un pájaro. And that like triggered him. That made him so angry. I was so confused. I was like, what the hell? Why are you so mad? I just called you a bird. He didn't hit me or anything, but just that stare alone made me cry. <laughs> but this one time he did hit me and I should have called the police for child abuse. I'm just kidding. One day I thought me and my brother were the only ones at home. Obviously there was an adult around and that adult was my uncle. But back then I didn't even know my uncle was home. So I put myself in charge. I was like, I gotta guard this house. If anyone tries to steal, they gotta get through me first. So I grabbed the bat from my closet and I sat on the couch because the couch is right in front of the door. So I can easily catch whoever's trying to enter. As I waited and waited, I heard the shower go off. Aha! I got you now, you. Hola, man. ¿Qué qué qué estás? ¿Qué haces aquí? I looked all over my room to find a good hiding spot and noticed that there was a good enough space for me to fit under my bed. So that is what I did. I hid myself under my bed, hoping and praying, please don't pop me. Oh my god, I didn't know. I didn't know. I know you're here, Perla. Come out. Aha! ¿Dónde está, pinche cuincla? ¿Por qué me estabas despiando, ah? ¿eh? You dirty bitch, you bitch, cocina puerca marrana cerda. ¿Quién te enseñó esto, ah? ¿eh? Despreciable puerca. You guys get the point. He beated my ass. And after that ass whooping, I never dare to open the door if I hear the showers on. It will just bring back the trauma. And to finish off this video, let me tell you guys the story of how I learned English. I still struggle on saying some words in English. I don't know if it's that or I'm just fucking stupid. But back then, guys, I was fucked. I grew up speaking Spanish. 
All the shows I watched was in Spanish, pre-K in Spanish, and kindergarten in Spanish. And when I made it to first grade was when I was first introduced to English. So that was a whole new world for me. All the kids around me speaking another language I didn't understand. And I'm just like, yeah. Hey, what's your name? Monday? Huh, that's a weird name. Nice to meet you, Monday. So I don't really remember my experience fully in first grade, but what I vividly remember though was taking the reading test where you read aloud in front of a teacher to be placed in a reading level. So obviously when it was my turn to read, I was so scared. The teacher was so sweet. Oh my God, she was probably the sweetest teacher I've ever had. Hi there, hopefully you're having a wonderful day today. Today we're gonna test your reading level skills, so please don't be scared and take your time. So you're gonna read this book and I'm gonna ask you questions once you've finished the book. Of course, this test won't affect your grade, so don't worry if blah 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 blah. Okay, are you ready to begin? When I tell you I was really struggling, I was struggling. When I finished the book, the test began. And oh my God, it is so embarrassing to say that I didn't even get passed through the first question. All right, what's the boy's name? The boy name, Play. Nope, that's not his name. Play means you're going out to play with your friends. For example, you and your friends are going to play with dolls. Now I'm gonna repeat the question again. What's the boy's name? Uh, I... Play. No, I just explained what play is. I asked for his name. <laughs> Yo no sé. Come again? Yo no sé. ¿Qué dices, man? No sé. Oh my goodness, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. And the kids were just looking at me like, oh my god, is she okay? I wasn't okay. <laughs> I am a failure. Eventually, I learned how to speak English one way or another. I took speech classes because my pronunciation was horrible. Finally made some friends and practiced speaking English. Watching shows in English. Played some ABC mouse type of shit all that trouble just to be labeled as mentally ill in third grade by a fuckhead of a guidance counselor that whole story is for his own video for another time okay so what is your name my name is perla perla wait say that again perla uh, um i'll just call you perla perla okay my name is Perla! <laughs> yeah, that's their name. Jess, that's my name. A big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community full of thousands of creators making educational videos, teaching you how to become better at what you want to do or just learn a new hobby. They have all sorts of genres from music, photography, business, art, and more. So if you fall in any of those categories, don't be shy. Take their classes. It's really not that long either. It's like 10 minute of video or even shorter. And of course, if you have to do something in the middle of your class, you can easily go back from where you left off. Period, because Skillshare is organized like that. I know that probably half of you are super bored and are like, man, I want to do something new. Well, that's why I recommend Sylvia Yang's class. She makes cute little food characters come to life by animation. In this class, she introduces you how to use multiple mediums to create a character animation that you can share. I can't say this class is beginner friendly, but she does make sure to go step by step, help you to become confident to use the tools to create anything you can imagine. So if you want to use Skillshare, make sure you're one of the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description to get 30% off an annual premium membership. This still applies to people who already have a free trial of Skillshare. So take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. Again, only the first 1,000 of you guys can get it. So make sure to click the link in my description and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video.